welcome back my dear friends to the universe in this video we're going to do just as the title says talk about the automatron dlc for fallout 4 just so you know where i'm coming from when it comes to fallout history i played through fallout 1 2 3 new vegas and spent loads of hours in fallout 4 i've also completed all the previous dlcs for fallout 3 and new vegas so that's where i'm going to do the most comparison from in this video because i think it's important to judge this dlc with comparison to what the history of fallout dlcs have given us in terms of content and i'm also going to give my personal judgment as to if the automatron dlc is actually worth the $10 asking price. There might be some possible spoilers in this video, but I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum. But either way, you have been warned. Mm -hmm. I personally think that most of the DLCs for Fallout 3 and New Vegas are great. Some, of course, are stronger than others, but most of them introduce you to new characters, factions, and new areas with quite a lot of things to do and explore as well as some new interesting stories and i think that's been the biggest charm of each of the older dlcs that you actually get new areas both in terms of location as well as new visuals for each new area new lore to indulge yourself in and much much more and in comparison the automatron dlc does not have that if you don't think that an old basement of a robco facility counts as an introduction to a new environment or area because let's be real it doesn't it looks like any old fallout facility and the only thing that's new here are the custom robots uh, that the mechanist the dlc's main villain if you can call the mechanist that throws at you as well as the mechanic of making and customizing your own new robot followers which seems to be one of the bigger focuses with this dlc and i think the latter is the main reason why i felt this dlc is very lackluster and empty in terms of real content the previous Fallout games have been more focused on telling stories and getting the player involved in that way. And in Fallout 4 there is a clear focus change towards the action mechanics and the new building system. And that seems to be the thing that Bethesda are trying to utilize in order to attract players to Fallout 4 even in this new DLC. Now, I don't have anything to complain about that. I think that the building system, even though it's not one of the best I've ever seen, to be honest, holds um, it holds its own weight, and it's a fun feature. And I think the improved gun mechanics are a step up from previous titles, but right now, especially with the Automatron DLC, it feels like Bethesda thinks that the building system is something that they can use in order to water down the story elements by adding stuff to this said building system. And by making you fight ridiculous amounts of enemies on your way to the conclusion of the main quest, in this case the Automatron DLC, instead of just putting some actual story content in there. And I don't know, maybe... Players that are playing around more with the robot customization system than I have and felt like they have gotten quite a lot of value for what they've paid for here, but frankly, I'm I'm a bit disappointed. The story of the Automatron DLC is nothing new. We get to meet some new raiders that have more of a robot fixation, which is kind of cool, I guess, and we get to meet the mechanist, but not the same mechanist that we met in Fallout 3. And it seems to be almost the same confused superhero-esque genius robot mechanic this time around. And it's nothing new there either. It's just a little bit of a different setting. So don't expect anything new or intuitive or anything you're going to be wowed from when it comes to the story of this DLC. And to be honest, that's very sad for me. Because to be frank, what I remember of the older Fallout games and their DLCs is not the action. It's not the mass amount of enemies that was thrown at me. It was not the mechanics involved in particular parts of the journey. It was the cool new worlds, visuals and story. Now, even if you're not someone like me who's grown up alongside the releases of previous Fallout games and love those games to death and what they offered and enjoy Fallout 4 and its new take on things and everything that Fallout 4 offers, $10 is a little bit too much in my opinion for a mediocre quest. One new follower and a robot building machine. I'd personally say that wait and see if the other upcoming DLCs for Fallout 4 offer something more interesting in terms of story, mechanics and environments and stay away from this one for now. Might be worth it if you find it on a sale or something, but even then I hardly think this DLC will be something that impresses you if you just don't really love the building system and customization system in Fallout 4. 
Have you played the Automatron DLC? What did you think about it? Please leave a comment below and we can talk about it even more. Maybe you have a totally different opinion about it than I have. Then I'd be very interested to hear about it. If you want to save money and see my playthrough of the DLC, then press the I in the top right corner now. Yep. Thanks for watching, listening, and until next time. Bye. It's a lie.